this works at home because I've got my laptop at school. Um, this is tomorrow. Everything on here will be on tomorrow's test. So I'll start with number two. We did number one and three together. So if you didn't get that, it's here. Sorry for my sloppy writing. That's the best I can do. We'll start with the small triangle. This is the small triangle here. Okay. So that small triangle is this right here. That's P, Z, A, 4, 5. Okay, the big triangle, you have to pretend this doesn't exist. So you got the this big one. Continue like that. If the middle doesn't exist. So you have P, P at the top right here, E here, and D there. And we know for sure is this length 12 centimeters. Okay, 4 centimeters, 5 centimeters. Okay, now this 5 goes to this one right here, so we can't use that one. Okay, um, so our unknown length then is this one X right there. So this side, because it corresponds to this 5, or this number 5 that I just highlighted. Okay? So, um... After that, you can answer the question, what is the measurement of PE, which is X here? So you put X over the corresponding side is 5 equals to 12, big over small, 4. Cross cancel, cross multiply, I mean, that's 96 equals to 4X, divide by 4, divide by 4. Okay, then x equals to um, 96 divided by 4. 2, 8, 1, 6, 4. That's 24. x is 24. So this whole length is 24 right here. The one I highlight in red. That's 24 right there. 24 centimeters. What is the measurement of easy? Easy, Z E, Z E, is this little piece? If this big piece is twenty-four, you have to subtract it to this five. So Z E is nineteen because, because you have to explain how we get your answer. Because you have to subtract. Twenty four minus five. Like I circled over here. I hope you can understand all this slobber mess. But anyways, if if I didn't mark all this stuff, it's twenty four minus five right there, and all this other work. Okay, and then this we did this in class. So if you did not get it, please do number five. This will be on your test tomorrow. Something very similar. Okay. As you can see, the problems are very similar. Sophia and Ashley read a total of this many books. So remember to write their names. Sophia plus Ashley read a total of 55 books last year. Sophia read 15 more books than Ashley. Okay, 15 more. So Ashley gets the X. I'm going to do it in green. Ashley gets the X. So Ashley here gets the X. Now Sophia, you read 15 more books than Ashley, which is X. Because of than, we write this X first. So it's X plus 15 under Sophia. Add that equals to 55. Get 2x plus 15 equals to 55. Minus 15 minus 15. 2x equals to 40. x equals to 20. Because you divide by 2, it's 20. Okay? Divide by that 2. x belongs to Ashley. 
So Ashley read 20 books. Okay, now Sophia read 15 more. So 20 plus 15 is 35. So Sophia read 35 books. Okay, number seven. Daniel state that AX plus B is that. So AX, where A and B and C are not equal to zero, um, plus B equals to X plus A plus C. What must be the value of C for Kylie's? Oh, it should be Daniel's. Got to change this part. Statements to be true. Okay, you distribute A times X is XA or AX, alpha the letter. XC, CX, same thing, okay. Equals to AX plus B. B minus AX minus AX. Zero here plus B is B. Zero here plus CX is CX. And you're solving for C. So you divide by X, divide by X. C equals to B over X. Okay. And we did this one in class. Number five. Number seven we did in class. Number five. This what identified a transformation. AWF is the preimage. So this is the preimage. It is a reflection over the x axis. Write the congruent side A to F. is congruent to um, Z, X to Z. Line segment on top. A to W is congruent to X to Y. Um, F to W is congruent to Z to Y. X negative 2 X negative 2 is right there in blue. Right here, that's x negative 2. That's where you're going to put the mirror at. Okay, so if your mirror is right there, draw in your mirror. Reflect over with that. So basically, f is 1 over, so f prime here. w is 4, so count 4, put w prime there. This is 4, 4, that's 8. So, 4, 4, that's 8, A prime. Connect the dots. Oh, get rid of this line here. Connect the dots. It looks different. Uh-oh, much bigger. Something went wrong. 4, let me redraw this, not so big. Very confusing. Okay. The W look right. A must be wrong. Four, three, that's seven. Went too far. So seven, three, four. Okay. Notice it was a lot bigger, so I know it's not congruent, therefore that looks the same now. They're, they're congruent now, so that's correct. That's how I know your information's wrong. Some of you draw, draw bigger shapes and 
you let it be, do not do that. Here's um, A, here's B, if you did not get it. Most of you should know how to do B without help. C, the least common denominator is 8. So you multiply by 8 times 8 times 8, cross cancel, 1, 1 times 5 is 5, parentheses, 2K plus 5 equals 2, 2 times 5 is 10, bring down the K, distribute now, 10K plus 25 equals to 10K. Now if this is confusing to you, you can always add 0 here. Okay, make 0 to the 10K minus 10K minus 10K. 0 plus 25 is 25. 0 plus 0 is 0. No solution. Okay. And we did 13. Oh, we set it up in some classes. These, these are not congruent. Notice this is much bigger than this other angle. So when that happens, you need to set it up to make it equal to 180. And then you solve it. Oh, I can't. That's 3x plus x is 4x plus negative 60, add 60, you get that, and that's your answer. Okay, now this problem, you set it equal to each other. I know most classes weren't done, but some few class I did finish. So you set it up congruent to each other because these two that they gave you right here, this one and this one are alternate exterior. They are congruent. And you solve it and you get 5. And then you put it back in. 2 times 5 is 10. 10 plus 50 is 60. So you put 60 here. 60 there. 60 there also. And then the other one has to be 120 because it has to add up to 180. Okay. All right. This one here. Solve for x. Okay. Right here is your z. That's 85 degrees. Therefore, this is 85 degrees. 48 plus 85. 133 degrees. 48 vertical angles. That's 48. So x is then. I need to subtract 180 minus 133. 7, 4, 47. X is 47 degrees. Okay, number 16 didn't no class did I get to do this. Make sure you do the sides. There's two sides, equal signs. Okay, you side with the most boxes first. So I'm gonna put two. 3, 7, 2 plus 3, parentheses, 4x plus 7, 12x plus 21, that's, these two are alike, so you get 23 plus 12x, You want to make this no solution. No solution. The coefficient has to be the same. So this is missing number right here is 12. And the constant can be anything. Let's say 1. So 12w plus 1. Uh-oh. Meant to put x here. Typo. That meant to be x. 12x plus 1. Okay. That will create no solution because if you subtract the coefficient, 1 equals to 23. No solution. So our answer right here is correct. 
make the equation infinite solution. These don't mean to be decimal, you guys. It's a typo. Start on this side. 2, 4, 1. Two parentheses negative two v plus four plus a one negative. Distribute first negative four v plus eight plus a negative one. Negative four v plus this is seven. infinite solution, so negative 4 need to be here, and 7 need to be here, so negative 4 of <coughs> v plus 7. Coefficient and constant are both the same. Add 4v, add 4v, 0 plus 7 is 7. Okay, and then we did, most classes we did B, and we did the bottom, so let's do A. Okay, pick two points. You can pick, can't pick one because one is not at the corner, you see? That doesn't work because it's not right there. Can't pick two either. It's two, no number there either. Can't pick three either. Uh-oh. You can pick zero, zero. Zero. Zero powers. And the other zero means zero miles. Okay. Let's see, find another number. It's getting hard. Because four. Nope. Five, no, six. Ah, finally, look at this. Perfect, six. There's a number over here. So, what number is this? Five. Five, what? Powers. 320. Okay, so I'm going to stick to this one. This is x sub 1, y sub 1. Do it in blue so you can see better. This is x sub 1, y sub 1. x sub 2, y sub 2. So we do y sub 2 minus y sub 1. That's the rate of change formula, slope formula, ratio. x sub 2 minus x sub 1. 32. Minus y sub 1, 0, and these are both in miles. Notice 32 minus 0 miles is 32 miles. Over x sub 2, 5 minus 0, 5 hours. 32 over 5 hours. Travel 32 miles for every five hours. All right, and this one too, select two. Select any two, it'd be the same answer as mine. I like to select zero, zero, to be honest. X sub one, Y sub one. X sub two, Y sub two. Okay, and the rate of change is Y sub two minus Y sub one over X sub two minus X sub one. Y two is eight, Y one is zero. 
eight stuffed animal sold and zero. So it's eight stuffed animal zero versus zero. Eight stuffed animals. Then X sub two is this one and this one and this toy sold. Twelve zero and there's toy sold. It's over twelve. Reduce that by four. You get two over three. Two animals. Toys are sold for every three toys all together. Okay, and that's how you do this homework. Remember, everything on here will be on your tests tomorrow.